What's up, Geek Nation? Dope is Geek here, and this is the room tour. It's been a long time coming. I don't think I've actually done a room tour since, God, probably, it was like 2017, 2018, when I was collecting a bunch of like Marvel Selects. So it's actually been a while since I've actually shown you guys my collection. So here it is, guys. Without further ado, this is the room tour. All right, y'all, and this is it. This is my collection. So before we get to the figures, I'll show you the Funko Pops up top. I really, really, really love these Funko Pops. Uh, really add a very cool, unique spin to the room. That Venom one right there is hands down probably my favorite. Now up here, we're gonna have a lot of the prop replicas right here. That Magneto helmet is definitely my favorite one love wearing it sometimes i just like to wear it around the house <laughs> if you don't believe me ask my wife and also have the uh, prop replicas of stormbreaker you guys are already familiar with the shield and uh the infinity gauntlet and uh that lightsaber other than that let's get into the figures which you guys actually came here to see so this is my in-game shelf starting at the top i have uh i'm actually here before i start zooming in starting at the top i got Doctor Strange, SH Figure Arts, also Thanos. This is a Mafex store with that uh, Marvel Legends Giant Man in the back. That's the Builder figure. Um, also a Marvel Legends Iron Patriot. I'm surprised SH has not made that. I want that so bad. I think SH would that that would kill it. It would probably be expensive as all hell, but other than that, I think they will kill it. But other than that, Marvel Legends will do. I think that was just a badass suit. Um, Iron Man, you got to have the goat. Mafex, of course, the best one. Uh, we also have Ma Ma Mafex uh, Captain Marvel, which is actually a really good figure. Not a lot of people talk about it. It's actually a really good figure. Uh, this is the SH Figure Arts Iron Spider with uh, Professor Hulk, also by SH Figure Arts, and uh, Ant Man. And if I pause a lot, guys, I apologize if I stutter a lot. Uh, this video is going to be unedited, so you're going to hear me stutter. Uh, probably pause a lot and because I'm very tired. <laughs> so uh, so this is a uh, Mafex Captain America with the Mafex Black Panther, probably two of my best or favorite uh, SH Figure Arts figures that I own. And I also have the SH Figure Arts, uh, oh, I say Mafex, Mafex figures that I own, my bad. Uh, SH Figure Arts, uh, Hawkeye and Black Widow. I know Black Widow was only in there for a quarter of the movie, still a very sick figure, so I have them. Uh, but this is my in-game shelf, uh, probably my favorite MCU shelf that I have. So uh, going down to the next one, I have the Infinity War shelf, uh, starting off with Hulk, even though Hulk was only in the first five minutes of the film and got his ass whooped. Uh, but still probably one of my favorite uh, SH figure arts of the Hulk uh, that I own, probably one of the best Hulk figures ever. Uh, this is a slept on figure, this SH figure arts uh, Falcon. That's a really, really awesome figure. Really glad I have it. Thanos. This is decent. It's a decent figure. I really like the other one better, but still decent. I have um, Gamora and Star-Lord back there. Really, really dope. Here, let me put the focus on them. Really, really dope. Glad I have them. That War Machine. This War Machine is awesome. Like, I love it. Oh, my God. I, hope, I, I wish it came with a roadie head sculpt. I would like one, but again, really, really good one. I have the Marvel Legends uh, Groot and Marvel Legends Rocket. There is an SH Figure Arts Rocket that you can get, but uh, I just don't. It just don't sit right with me, knowing I pay more than a hundred bucks to get that small figure. So I, I think I'm good on it right now. Uh, but this Mafex Thor. Oh my God! Honestly, I made this shelf just to have a reason to get this one. This figure is dope. Uh, Marvel Legends Winter Soldier. SH Figure Arts, Wanda, and I have Vision leaning in the back right there. Uh, I just realized there's no like Tamashi or import version of Vision. Like that would be awesome if we can get that. Uh, this is gonna this Winter Soldier is gonna get replaced one of these days. So replaced with an SH Figure Arts. But other than that, that is this shelf right here, Infinity War. And this is my, oh, let me adjust myself real quick. And this is my Avengers shelf. So based off the first movie. 
Uh, all I have is Hawkeye. I'm put in focus. All I have is, come on, focus for me. Hawkeye. I have the Incredible Hulk. I have Captain America and Thor. And I'm going to keep you a, a buck with you. These two figures are ass. Oh my God, these figures suck. Jesus. Uh, but these three figures are actually really good. This is actually, like, I, I wasn't expecting much from this Hawkeye. This Hawkeye is actually a really good figure. Uh, Iron Man is probably the best figure on this shelf. Iron Man is always a good figure. But uh, there's Iron Man right there. So, of course, I'm missing the obvious, like, I'm missing Black Widow, probably first and foremost. Uh, there is a Black Widow uh, that I need to get. She retails for, like, $170 uh, for what I see, like, on eBay and Macari and stuff like that. So if you know anybody who's selling that, version of Black Widow, uh, please let me know. Other than that, um, there's a Nick Fury I need to get and Loki that I need to get. But so far, this is who I have on this shelf. Looks amazing. Uh, glad to celebrate the legacy that is Avengers. So, all right. Next up, we have, uh, well, what is the beginning of a Spider-Verse shelf? So this Spider-Verse shelf is gonna be mostly all Spider-Man, obviously. Uh, but also based on the movie, uh, but all, but just if it's a Spider-Man figure, it's gonna go on this shelf, uh, probably for the most part. So, I have the Amazing Spider-Man back there. Here, let's get a closer look. Oh, he's amazing. Oh, he's so dope. I love it. Integrated suit, probably the biggest letdown of 2023. Sentinel, Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse, and uh, not a lot of people are talking about this figure. This figure is awesome. We have Spider-Man, SH Figure Arts. Really, really glad I have this figure. Toby Maguire, next to the black suit. Mayfex, shout out to Dez uh, for giving me a really good price on getting that figure uh, from him, buying it from him. We have uh, Spider-Gwen, Ghost Spider, Spider-Woman, however you want to go by. Really, really awesome figure. Of course, we got to have my boy Miles from Across the Spider-Verse in this suit. We have the uh, Scarlet Spider by Mayfex. Really, really awesome figure. Made it to my top 10. And also, uh, Renew Your Vows. Marvel Legend. Really, really good Spider-Man. And probably my favorite Spider-Man right here. The Lego Spider-Man. Really, really awesome addition to it. Uh, next to Spider-Ham. So, uh, but yeah. it's I'm really, really glad to have all these Spider-Man. Let me adjust real quick. Whoa. Really, really glad to have all these Spider-Men. Uh, I have like six more Spider-Men. The reason why they're not up here right now is because I don't have enough stands. Uh, but I know the when I'm waiting on those stands is going to push this video more and more. So, um, But you'll see them next time. All right, so this is the animated series shelf. Uh, so this is all Spider-Man and his Rose Gallery, uh, but mostly based off the animated series from the 90s uh, or early 2000s. So... In the back, we got Vulture, we got Doc Ock, Green Goblin, that whack ass Sandman that we got. They were they they they're wrong as hell for giving us that Sandman. Uh, Rhino, Mysterio, really really awesome figures. Craven, shout out to King in Black for uh, giving me this uh, Craven figure. Really really awesome addition. Scorpion, really really awesome figure. J Jonah Jameson, we got Shocker. Mary Jane, probably the best Mary Jane figure we have. The long-awaited Aunt May. Really, really awesome lizard. Let me focus in on him. Really, really awesome lizard. We have Electro. Probably the best Venom Marvel Legend that we have so far with Carnage. And that whack-ass Hobgoblin that we got. And uh, probably my favorite Spider-Man. No, I don't have the... I do have the animated series one, but I left them in the packaging on purpose. I'm thinking about getting another one just to put on this. But this is hands down my favorite Spider-Man Marvel Legend. I love this Spider-Man so much. I would have put him in a better pose because uh, honestly, I wanted him in a really good pose, but I ran out of stands to use. <laughs> so I am going to have to uh, get some stands, uh, some more stands from uh, Geek Effect uh, to use on this shelf. But other than that, this is the animated series Spider-Man shelf. So next up, this is my Cosmic Shelf. So Cosmic Shelf is going to be more of my Cosmic Heroes. I'll blow through this real quick. This is something I kind of just threw together, honestly. Uh, I have Guardians of the Galaxy back there. That is a uh, Diamond Select Groot. So I got that from Diamond Select. You can tell they were trying to go based off of the TV show that was going on at the same time. Uh, at that time, 
uh, but I really want them to make a new one or Marvel Legends to make a new one. Uh, same thing with Rocket as a Marvel Select Rocket. Uh, right here, that is the, uh, I think this is a Walmart exclusive Star-Lord and a Target exclusive Yondu. So that's cool. Uh, we have the Amazon exclusive Ronin, the uh, Ronin, the, uh, damn, Ronin the Accuser. That's what it, I'm going to say, man, what was his name? Ronin the Accuser. Uh, we also have um, Super Score right there, the Build-A-Figure. I only own that one arm. Psycho Man, Fire Lord, High, uh, High Evolutionary, um, Silver Surfer. Uh, no, I don't have Galactus, not yet. My wife won't let me. Uh, but then m one of my favorite teams, the Fantastic Four. Uh, this is that retro, put it in focus, that retro uh, Human Torch. with Mr. Fantastic. That's oh, these are the Walgreens exclusives. Uh that thing figure, probably one of the best thing figures you can get. Probably one of the best Marvel Legends you can get, honestly. And also uh Sue Storm, um Invisible Woman and if you recognize that head, you'll see in a minute why she has that head sculpt and not her original one. But other than that, that is my uh cosmic shelf for um my collection. So Hopefully I get more. I'm trying to add more villains and heroes. I know I got Drax on the way, uh, so can't wait to add them on. This is a very small shelf. I call this as like a seasonal shelf. So seasonal shelf is going to be more of a shelf that I'll probably have for a little bit, and but it can easily get replaced with something else. Uh, but I just wanted a reason to have Mojo. Mojo is an insane figure. I love, I just, I don't know. I just love obscure characters like Mojo in my collection, like him, Modoc, um, and stuff like that. So I have him right there. So that's Shatterstar on the top. I have Longshot right there, along with Dazzler and Spiral. But yeah, this is my little Mojo World shelf. So really, really awesome shelf. But again, don't get too used to it. Uh, we'll be replaced by something else. So who knows? We'll see. Stay tuned. All right. So the main course. So let's start at the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be my Midnight, uh, sorry, my Marvel Knights. So I was going to say Midnight Suns, but I guess that could be on here. So this is going to be my Marvel Knights and also Thunderbolts and Dark Avengers. Uh, kind of all those are going to be on this shelf. Uh, so starting from the left, I have the uh, Moon Knight figure. I think it was the Walgreens exclusive one. I know they just released a, a new one at Target, uh, but I got the Walgreens one. Uh, this Daredevil who looks absolutely amazing. I love that one. Uh, Electra, we need a new one. We need it. I know they made a new one, but she was all white. I want that same body mode, but in red. Blade, really, really awesome figure that came out last year. US Agent, the Punisher. I want a trench coat Punisher so bad. When are they going to make one? Hopefully, hopefully soon. So I have uh, Red Hulk in the back. With that awesome Deadpool that we got as well. Got Agent Venom. This is supposed to be the new Warriors, like from the, uh, you know, the classic new Warriors. I just add a couple more members. Bucky in the back. And that was supposed to, and this right here is supposed to be like my Dark Avengers. So, oop, let me, I'm just getting too blurry right now. Uh, this is supposed to be like my Dark Avengers. So, um... So I was going to add a couple more Dark Avengers um, figures as we get them. I think word on the street is supposed to be get some Dark Avengers members this year. So hopefully uh, that is something uh, that happens this year. But yeah, again. Oh, and who's uh, Ghost Rider? I haven't gotten him yet, but Ghost Rider is on his way. But that's who's supposed to be on his motorbike. That's why someone's sitting on his motorbike and no one's there. So yeah, there it is. Uh, this is my Marvel Night Shelf. Next up, we have the Brotherhood shelf. So the Brotherhood shelf is going to be uh, just the main lineup of uh, X-Men villains. We have the uh, Marvel Legends uh, Apocalypse, really, really awesome figure. Mr. Sinister, Lady Deathstrike, Avalanche, Pyro, Blob, a really, really slept on figure. I don't think enough people are talking about him. We have Mystique. I want them to take another crack at Mystique. I think I think she's a really I think she has potential to be a really awesome figure if they actually put the work into it. Uh, we have uh, Toad back there. Look like he's about to eat. 
Eater, <laughs> Sabretooth. Cannot wait for the new Sabretooth to come out. Oh my God, cannot wait. We have Scarlet Witch back there next to her father. We'll get to him in a minute. We have Dark Phoenix. I know they're coming out with a Mafex Phoenix, but she's going to be wearing her green suit. So uh, that won't be happening. But hopefully if we get a red one, that will get replaced. Juggernaut, another goaded figure that not a lot of people are talking about. And Omega Red. And that is my... Uh, oh, put in focus. That is my... Uh, oh, come on. Focus for me. All right, there we go. Brotherhood Shelf. Now, this is my favorite shelf. If, you, if, if I, hands down, if my house was on fire and it said, dope is geek, you literally have to bring one shelf out of you to save, it'll be this shelf. Sorry. So let's start from the left. So we have the, uh, the bishop right there. And if you recognize that body, that is from the X-Men 97 bishop. And I just put the old bishop head on it. I just like the jerry curls better. Uh, we have Forge right there. I need to find his gun. I just realized homie's just not strapped. We got Jubilee. Uh, definitely would like Mafex to take a crack at Jubilee. We have the Marvel Legends um, Nightcrawler. Again, want them to crack at Nightcrawler. Rogue. I need to put her in a better spot. I think her, yeah, her thing broke. Uh, her stand broke, so I need to put her in a better spot. But uh, Rogue back there. I also have... Mafex Gambit, probably one of the best Mafexes you can buy. And also, uh, I have Mafex Wolverine. Really, really awesome figure. His shoulder pad is actually broken, but to the point that I can finesse it. So I can, it's working. And I knew it was broken when I bought it. I bought it from somebody, so. This is the uh, X-Men Cyclops. Sorry, Mafex Cyclops, that's what I'm trying to say. Obviously, it's from X-Men. With the beam. I just love that beam. And I just realized I didn't really talk about Magneto, the best figure that I own. I just realized that. Yo, I'm so sorry, Magneto. I don't mean to disrespect you, bro. Really, 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 really awesome. All right, so we have Mayfix Jean Grey. Really, really good. Shout out to Rocky. This was a Christmas gift from him. This is the Mayfix Storm. A really, really awesome Marvel legend of um, Professor Xavier. They went hard on the chair. Now, this is probably the best Marvel legend ever. Beast. Now, if Mafex were to make this uh, figure, oh my God. Oh, dude, I can't, I can't even think. This is uh, Iceman. We got Colossus and Archangel. I will probably move Archangel to the bottom whenever uh, whenever the uh, new one comes out. But yeah, I'm, uh, and I'll probably move Archangel to the bottom, put him next to uh, next to Apocalypse. So right here, this is going to be my villain shelf. So this is going to be all of uh, the Avengers uh, heavy hitters. So in terms of like their main villains, because I can't put everybody on this shelf. So. I got Abomination. Definitely need new Abomination, man. Like, I... They, it, that, that is long overdue. We have... Uh, I, ain't, I'm, I ain't gonna hold you. I forgot all these dudes' names. I know this is... Uh, yeah, dude. I, I think this is Pile Driver, Wrecking Ball. Uh, but I know this is the Wrecking Crew. I completely forgot the names. Oh, my God. I know y'all let me know in the comments below. But, so, but we do have uh, the Leader. Right there. We have uh, Claw with Taskmaster. Baron Zemo, which is crazy because not a lot of people is talking about this Baron Zemo uh, figure. Let me see. Sorry, give me one second. Hopefully, y'all see real time how my collection be doing me. There we go. All right. So, yeah. So, Baron Zemo, really, really awesome figure. We have... Uh, um damn i forgot his name yeah that, that his name actually escapes me crossbones that's what it is i was gonna say skull buster but i know skull busters from x-men uh we also have uh king the conqueror really really dope figure i think we need a new one though we have uh baron strucker red skull 
Dr. Doom. We have two aim soldiers and Modoc, probably one of my favorite figures on this shelf. Again, I love obscure characters like that. Ultron, which is another slept on figure not a lot of people is talking about. We have Dormammu, Loki, uh, Destroyer for some reason. I don't know why I have him on this shelf, but this is a really, really awesome figure by Marvel Legends. I have a Diamond Select version of that one too, so it's actually really dope. Uh, we have the Scrolls, another Ultron, because I thought I was going to army build Ultron, but I didn't. Maestro, I want a new Maestro. I want him wearing his like purple vest and stuff like that. And Thanos. And that's all of my, put it in focus, all of my villains. What is your name? All right. Thought I, I thought it would just come to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So now this is my final shelf. This is the Avenger shelf. Well, this is supposed to be like based off of like just Marvel in general. Uh, this can change over time. Uh, either it's going to be more figures. Well, actually, no. Honestly, it's going to be less figures. So um, I am planning on taking some of these people off. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep them on there. So let's start from the left. Uh, I know I don't really... I, I was moving by the time I was having some of these figures. So if you see some new figures that you've never seen before, I just did not make a video on them. And it's just... Oop, this is kind of... Uh, I did not make any video. I just did not have the time. So this is Luke Cage. And uh, do a quick review on Luke Cage real quick. He's okay. Um, I have the classic Ghost Rider back there with Falcon. We have T Tigra, Tigra, something like that. We have Monica Rambeau. This is another, uh, or, or, uh, Captain Marvel, being honest, she's all right. Hercules, you guys see these two right here. These two are amazing figures, uh, this Hawkeye and that Target exclusive, uh, Black Widow, a um, Two really, really, really good, amazing figures. Black Widow is now the new gold standard of women-based uh, action figures. We have to start using that body mode, Hasbro. Mayfex Spider-Man, really, really awesome figure. Again, thanks to Rocky for giving me this figure. I think this was a, a birthday or Christmas gift. Don't remember. Hulk, Marvel Legends Hulk, one of the best Hulks around. Captain America. Marvel Legends Captain America and the Marvel Legends Black Panther. Can this will be replaced with the uh Mayfex Black uh Mayfex Captain America whenever that comes out. And also we're going to have the um um actually no, what I'm saying, there is no Mayfex Black Panther, hopefully. But yeah. Uh this is the Mayfex uh Iron Man, really really good figure. Another Target exclusive Ant-Man. Didn't really talk about Vision. Vision was a really good figure. I'm really glad they updated it. Looks really nice to the Marvel Legends Scarlet Witch. And uh, we have Quicksilver. Uh, I think that one needs a redo. I also have a Mayfex Thor. Uh, let me put him, uh, zoom in on his face. Yeah, uh, focus in on his face. Uh, Mayfex Thor. He looks awesome. Now, I'm a, I haven't reviewed him yet. I'm actually going to do a review on him soon. Uh, so, but he is a letdown. He is, he's very, I don't say he's a letdown. He's dope. He's, he is awesome, but his, he's short. He's very short. Uh, then we have the, uh, I think this was a Walmart exclusive, Dr. Strange. So we have that. We have the retro Fantastic Four right here. And also we have the Marvel Legends, uh, War Machine, that's from like the retro one. And hiding in the back, <laughs> we have Namor. And that's the reason why I said I was going to take a lot of these figures off. Because um, it's just, there's some figures I rather I would like to see. And like Namor, I would like to see him. I just don't have a place for him. Um, honestly, it's probably end up being that Fantastic Four. And probably do that as a future uh, seasonal display. And that is my collection so far. Thank you for reaching the end of the video. If you like what you see, please leave a like. Leave a comment below. What was your favorite display? Also, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on the socials below. And I catch you guys on the next video. Stay dope.